Hi everyone, so I've decided to come for a walk on the forest and I thought I'd come to an area that I haven't been to before just to sort of scout it out um, with the camera. So I've come to Eeyore's gloomy place, um, we were parked at Gill's lap and I did the walk and it's very gloomy because it's raining. I didn't think it was going to rain this afternoon, but it is. Um, yeah, getting wet now. But what, it, what the wet is doing is, um, as you can see behind me, there's um, a few dead trees in here. So with the dark skies behind, I'm just sort of shutting the camera. Not, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I'm trying to use the dark skies to sort of emphasize the fact that I am in Eeyore's gloomy place and there are dead trees here and it makes a quite an interesting picture. Right, I'm gonna go find a tree to hide under, I think. So as you can see, the weather front is passing through here. Um, and a couple of minutes ago, this, um, the break between this big cloud and this big cloud, don't know the technical cloud, technical terms of clouds, um, had these really unusual patterns, which you can just see there. Um, so I was trying to, oh, we've got some sunshine. I might have to, I'll, I'll be back, I'll be back. Yep, very happy with that. A bit of sunshine really helps to bring out the color. Well, helps, because you can, it's still got the sun on it. Um, yeah, so as I was saying, these clouds um, were a lot more prominent a couple of minutes ago. Um, so I was over here-ish, just photograph, pho trying to focus on this tree um, with these clouds behind. And I got a shot that I was really happy with. Um, but I, my, my aim is always to try and improve that the scene and try and give it as much content and context as possible. Um, because this is Eeyore's... Um, Oh, how did I describe it? Eel's Place, I can't remember the name. Um, I wanted to try and include a few different aspects. So I really like this tree on the left. I thought that would make a nice left point. I saw this gorse bush. I thought, well, that would make a nice bit of foreground information. Um, and by coming off to this side, instead of looking at that tree front on, you can also see into the valley. So you can see sort of more of the boggy marshland and then sort of the valley going off behind. I'm having it on record that there's definitely a rainbow there and it's definitely in this video and it's definitely in my final shot. Um, I was thinking that with the sun behind me and these dark clouds in front of me, that if there was going to be a rainbow, then I'm in exactly the right spot. So I sort of lingered for five, 10 minutes and um, by some miracle it's appeared. Um, it's not very strong now. It was strong for uh, about 30 seconds, which is long enough for me. Um, and as you can see, it, the strength of the sun, it's now given a bit of shade in this foreground um, which may help the shot final image it may not it may give like a bit of a, a bit of a um, an edge to the image um, but, or it might be a bit of a distraction but either way I'm, I'm very happy just in a rainbow for given that it's e Eeyore's gloomy place it's um it's it's certainly not gloomy today just look at that Absolutely amazing. That was a double rainbow for a couple of seconds. So I was sort of slightly to the left to get that gorse bush in. I sort of stood over there. I thought I'd come over this way to, well, just to see if it looked any different really. And I, I, in some ways I like the simplicity of having this main pine tree, single pine tree this side, and then this little group of three or four over there um, with the rainbow above. Um, yeah, proves a worthwhile trip this has.